guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Sheila in today's video we're going to be learning how to make the butterfly top I know you've seen it on different platforms and so many people have tried to make it in different versions but I wanted to bring my own definition of this top to you um, I'm also very happy to announce the opening of my Etsy shop so um, you'll be getting some written patterns from my shop and uh, yeah I'll be dropping the link in the description box below so that if um, you would want the written pattern you can find it there so let's get started I'm using Robin for this project 100% acrylic and then I'm also using a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors and a darning needle to weave in the ends so let's begin this project is worked from the center of our, our top and then we spread the wings outwards so I'm going to be using a double strand so if you have any medium weight yarn you can use that or any weight 3 can work or any yarn that recommends a 3 to 4 millimeter crochet hook so uh, we're going to start off with a slip knot and then we're going to chain up a total of four chains and this counts as a double crochet chain one and then we are going to go into the very first chain with a total of three double crochets one two and three So we have a total of four double crochets because the chain three counted as a chain as a double crochet sorry so after this we are going to row two for row two you're going to chain up three turn your work and this counts as a double crochet so we are not going to go into the very first stitch we are going to go into the second one and place a double crochet place a double crochet in the third stitch Place a double crochet in the very last stitch on top of the chain three so we still have a total of four double crochets chain three turn your work repeat row two so go into the second stitch with a double crochet double crochet into the third stitch and double crochet into the last stitch So we have three rows right now and for row four we are going to do some increases so chain up three turn your work and into the very first stitch you're going to place one double crochet and then into the next stitch place one double crochet into the next one double crochet and into the very last one you're going to place two double crochets So we have a total of six double crochets for row four. And then uh, row five, we are going to do the same thing as row four. So chain up three, turn your work, place an extra double crochet in the first stitch, and then double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next and then we are going to do two double crochets in the very last stitch so go on top of the chain three and place two double crochets so that will be a total of eight double crochets for row five this is what you should have so um row six you're not going to chain three you're going to turn your work skip the very first stitch here go into the second stitch which is this one make a slip stitch and then we are going to chain up three which counts as a double crochet double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch 
and double crochet in the next so that's a total of five double crochets and then we are going to eliminate these two we are not going to be working anything in the last two stitches so for row seven we are going to chain up three turn our work double crochet in the second stitch and all the way across for a total of five double crochets so row six and seven have five double crochets and then from here you're going to just make a very long chain of a hundred chains so 100 to 120 so just make a chain a simple chain of 100 or 120 because these are the straps that are going to go to the back of our neck so make sure it's long enough to tie at the back of your neck so i have made total of 100 chains and i'm going to cut my yarn at this point cut your yarn and pull through so we are done with the first string on the left side of our butterfly now the next thing that you're going to do is to make a slip knot and make the same amount of chains so we're not attaching it here yet just make the same amount of chains the same number of chains that you did for the other side so i'll do my 100 chains and get back to you so i'm done with my 100 chains and you can see this chain is on its own it's not attached to anything so after your 100 chains you're not going to cut your yarn we are going to be attaching it to this side that doesn't have the the chain so this is the side which has the chain you're going to go into the very first stitch on the opposite side and make a slip stitch so we've attached a second uh, string on this other side and now we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch which is the second stitch and then chain up five slip stitch in the second chain from the hook slip stitch in the third chain from the hook in the fourth and in the fifth so we shall have something like this then slip stitch in the next stitch slip stitch in the next stitch and chain up five slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and all the way down okay so we are done with that and then you're going to slip stitch in this very last stitch chain one and cut your yarn so those little uh, protruding points are going to act as our antenna for the butterfly so you can see this this is how the middle section looks like and at this point we are done with the middle body of our butterfly so i'm going to just get rid of this and we shall start working on our wings so we are done with this you can also get rid of this tail here because we no longer need it so we are going to be working on the left wing first so here we are and we are ready to start on our wings so we're going to be first working on this side so grab your yarn make a slip knot and attach it at this point that point there so find a way of putting your hook through that point and then attach your yarn so we are attaching it at the highest point of row five so um, we are going to chain up five which counts as a double crochet chain two 
then double crochet in that same exact spot like that then you're going to chain five go into the space between row five and row four it's that point here and place one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet and then you're going to chain up three and go in the space between the third row and the fourth row so it's that point here and do the same thing so one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet so this is what we have we have five chains on the upper side of our butterfly here and then three chains at the bottom i'll be explaining why as we go along this is because um this is the bigger wing and then this is the smaller wing so uh, we are going to row two of the wing so chain up three turn your work Place three double crochets in the very first um, chain to space. So one, two, and three. So that's a total of four double crochets. Then you're going to chain up one. Place three double crochets in the next chain three space. Chain one. Place three double crochets in the next chain two space. Chain one. And in the chain five space, we are going to place a total of five double crochets. And then you're going to chain one and you're going to place a total of four double crochets in this very last space so one two three and four we are placing four double crochets in the last space simply because we did a total of three double crochets here but we had a chain one which counted as a stitch so that made a total of four so that's why I've placed four double crochets at the last um, space. Then we're going to row three of the wing. So you're going to chain, sorry. Row three of the wing, you're going to turn your work. Slip stitch in the second stitch. So not this very first one. The second one. Slip stitch in the third stitch. And then chain up three, which counts as a stitch, plus one more double crochet in that same stitch, and then two double crochets in the next stitch. So we have a total of four double crochets before the chain one space in between. Then you're going to chain two, skip the chain one space, and place two double crochets in each of the next five stitches so we are going to turn five into ten so two double crochets in each of the next five stitches So instead of having five double crochets, you're going to have 10 double crochets in this section. So we are done. We've placed two double crochets in each stitch. Then you're going to chain two, skip the next chain one space, and then go into the middle stitch of the three double crochets. So skip this and then go into the middle section and place a total of three double crochets. And then you're going to chain two and skip over this this stitch and the chain one space and for the next three double crochets you're going to place two double crochets in each of them 
to turn the three stitches into six stitches. So after that, you're going to chain two, skip over the chain one space, go into the next stitch with two double crochets and then go into the next stitch with two double crochets. So that's a total of four double crochets and we are going to eliminate the very last two stitches. We are not going to be working in them. So that's how we end our row. So this is row three of the wing. So row four of the wing is going to start the same exact way as row three. So turn your work and go into the second stitch and make a slip stitch go into the third stitch and make a slip stitch chain up three go into that very stitch with a double crochet then go into the next stitch with two double crochets so that's a total of four stitches so this is how we begin our rows for now this will create that tree being on the edge of the butterfly so after your four double crochets here you're going to chain two and you're going to skip over the chain two space and go into the very first double crochet here and you're going to place two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next then two double crochets in the next and then one double crochet in the next two double crochets in the next stitch and one double crochet in the next so we've turned the six double crochets into nine double crochets if you want to cross check this should be nine stitches one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then you're going to chain up two skip over the chain two space skip over the first stitch and go into the second stitch with a total of three double crochets and then you're going to chain two skip over this first stitch this last stitch of the three double crochets skip over the chain two space and go into the next stitch here the very first stitch and do two double crochets one double crochet in the next stitch two double crochets in the next one double crochet in the next so keep alternating that until you finish up your stitches so we shall turn the 10 double crochets into 15 double crochets if you want to cross check your work so the previous row had 10 double crochets in this section and now they should be 15 double crochets so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 and then you're going to chain up two skip over the chain two space and go into the first double crochet and place two double crochets go into the second double crochet and place two double crochets and that's the end of row four so this is what you should have and now for row five you're going to turn your work slip stitch in the second chain in the second stitch sorry go into the third stitch with a slip stitch chain up three go into that very stitch with a double crochet for a total of two double crochets now place two double crochets in the next stitch so that's a total of four double crochets chain two skip over the chain two space go into the next stitch and place two double crochets 
and then one double crochet all the way to the second last stitch here so you're going to place one double crochet in each stitch until the second last stitch at this point So we've reached the second last stitch and we have one stitch left here and this stitch is going to get two double crochets. So we've only increased in the very first here and the last one. So chain two, skip the next chain two space, skip this stitch and go into the middle stitch of the three double crochets and place three double crochets. chain two skip the first stitch skip over the chain two space and go into the next stitch and place two double crochets at the beginning then one double crochet in the middle stitches and then two double crochets at the end just like we did before in the previous section So in the very last stitch here, you're going to place a total of two double crochets. And then you're going to chain up two and complete your row as usual. So skip over this and go into the first stitch with two double crochets. And in the next stitch with two double crochets and eliminate the last two stitches. And then for row six one two three four five so we are on row six and we are going to do the same exact thing as row five slip stitch in the second slip stitch in the third stitch chain up three double crochet in the same stitch double crochet twice in the next stitch chain two <coughs> and then here we are going to do here we're going to do the same exact thing as row five so two double crochets in the first stitch one double crochet in the middle stitches and two double crochets in the last stitch So two double crochets in this very last stitch like that and then you're going to chain up two skip the chain to space skip the next stitch and in the middle stitch you're going to place three double crochets so at this point you should notice that we do the same exact thing for the middle section here the changes are always at the bottom and at the top but we keep it the same here and on the edges so chain two skip the next stitch skip the chain two space and then place two double crochets in the very first space and then one double crochet in the middle stitches and two double crochets in the last stitch before the chain to space. So 
so we are at the last stitch and we are going to place two double crochets there like this this is how your work should look like and then you're going to chain up two and complete your row as usual so skip over the chain to space two double crochets in the next stitch and two double crochets in the second stitch and now at this point we are going to be splitting the upper wing and the lower wing so since we've stopped on this side for row six we are going to be um, working on the upper wing first so let's start you're going to turn your work as usual slip stitch in the second stitch slip stitch in the third chain up three double crochet in the same stitch double crochet two times in the next stitch chain two and now um, we are going to continue increasing in the in the first stitch and the last stitch but keeping the um, middle stitches constant so two double crochets in the first stitch one double crochet in all the middle stitches and then two double crochets in the very last stitch so let's do this and then i'll show you where we are going to be splitting the upper wing and the lower wing so the upper wing is the bigger wing and the lower wing is the smaller wing so uh, one double crochet in all the middle stitches And when you come to the last stitch, you're going to place two double crochets. But we are going to switch up a few things because now we are splitting this wing from the wing down. So you're going to chain up two and go into the very first stitch here. You're going to skip over the chain to space and go into the first stitch here and place a total of three double crochets. And that's the end of row 7 of the upper wing so we are going to row 8 turn your work so at this point we are going to be working here and we shall come back to this side later on so turn your work slip stitch in the second stitch chain up three double crochet in the same stitch double crochet twice in the next stitch chain two and do the same increase here and here and then one double crochet in all the middle stitches so we're done with this and then you're going to chain up two, skip the next two chains and go into the first stitch with two double crochets and into the second stitch with two double crochets so by now you should be knowing how to end your row and how to start your row and now from row 9 to row 11 you're going to do the same exact thing back and forth but only for the upper wing so go ahead turn your work slip stitch in the second stitch slip stitch in the third and then chain up three and start your row nine and do the same exact thing do the increases at the beginning and at the end and then one double crochet in all the middle stitches so continue to do that until row 11 of the upper wing okay so here we are with our 11 rows so the first row is this one so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so after your 11 rows we are going to be doing something different so we ended on the bottom part of the upper wing so you're going to turn your work slip stitch in the second um, stitch slip stitch in the third slip stitch in the fourth slip stitch once in the chain two space 
slip stitch in the next stitch and slip stitch in the next so after this you're going to chain up three go into the next stitch with one double crochet and one double crochet all the way up to the second last stitch and the last stitch will get one will get two double crochets so one double crochet all the way up until the second last stitch and the very last stitch will get two double crochets like we've been doing for the previous rows so um We're going to do this. So the stitches have increased definitely and then in the very last stitch place a total of two double crochets and finish your row as usual so chain two skip the chain two space place two double crochets in each of the next two stitches so two in this one and two in the next one eliminating the last two stitches we don't work anything there so this is row 12 row 13 you're going to turn your work begin your row like normal slip stitch slip stitch in the third stitch chain up three double crochet in the same space so this is a total of two double crochets double crochet twice in the next stitch chain up two increase in the first stitch after the chain two space so two double crochets in here and you're going to do one double crochet until you have five stitches left on this side so we're going to go all the way down with one double crochet so after increasing in this stitch you're going to do one double crochet in each of the next stitches until you have five stitches left so one double crochet until you have five stitches left So this is row 13. So you count from the chain three because it counts as a stitch. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. And when you have five stitches left, that's the end of your row 13. You're going to turn your work. This is row 14. Slip stitch in the second stitch. So this is one of the stitches, the one that doesn't get a slip stitch. So one, two, slip stitch in the third slip stitch in the fourth slip stitch in the fifth and then slip stitch in the sixth and then chain up three and double crochet in the next stitch all the way up and when you get to the last stitch you're going to place two double crochets and then finish your row as usual So this is row 14 
so the even rows are going to look the same and the odd rows are going to look the same So we are coming to the end of row 14. Don't forget to place two double crochets in the last stitch before the chain two space. Then chain two and finish up your row as usual. Two double crochets in the first stitch and then two double crochets in the next stitch. Like that. So uh, row 15 is going to be the same as row 13. You're going to start your row, slip stitch in the second stitch, slip stitch in the third, chain up three, double crochet in the same stitch, double crochet twice in the next stitch, chain two, make an increase in the very first stitch and go all the way down with one double crochet until you have five stitches left of your row. So this is row 15. It should be the same as row 14. So uh, we're going to keep repeating. We're going to keep swapping between row, um, row 13 and 14 until we have uh, very few stitches left. I'll be letting you know how many rows that I did to have my uh, stitches done almost complete and then I'll meet you guys back so I managed to alternate between the row 13 and row 14 until I had a total of five stitches on this side and a total of four stitches on this side so uh, for row 19 this is uh, a total of 18 rows this is how they should look like so we have these corners on the edge of the uh, of the wing and for row 19 you're going to chain up three turn your work double crochet in each of the next three stitches so one double crochet in each of the next three stitches that's what you should have and then row 20 you're going to turn your work to the opposite side and now we are going to slip stitch into the second stitch, slip stitch into the third, and slip stitch into the fourth. Like that. And then we are going to make a chain of 250 chains all together. So go ahead and do that. And I'll meet you back when we are working the lower wing of the top. So at this point we are done with the upper wing and we are done with our uh, very long string and now we are going to be working on the lower wing which is this one so we are going to be working this so you are going to attach your yarn at this point so we have our three double crochets here we placed three double crochets for row seven of the upper wing and row seven of the lower wing will start from here you're going to skip this stitch and start from here so we're going to attach our yarn in that stitch chain three which counts as a double crochet and uh, place two more double crochets in the same stitch for a total of three double crochets at that point so we have three double crochets then you're going to chain up two and place one double crochet in each of these stitches so we have a total of 13 stitches across we are going to do one double crochet in each and every stitch for a total of 13 stitches
so we have our 13 stitches one double crochet in each stitch below then chain up two and finish up your row as usual two double crochets in the first stitch and then two double crochets in the next stitch and then we're going to row eight of um, our lower wing so slip stitch turn your work slip stitch in the second stitch slip stitch in the third chain up three double crochet in the same stitch two double crochets in the next stitch chain two skip the chain two space below skip the next stitch and then go into the next with one double crochet and then double crochet all the way across until the second last stitch so until the second last stitch and don't work anything in the very last stitch because we are eliminating it so here we are we don't work in this one so you're going to chain up two and then two double crochets in the first stitch after skipping the chain to space so two double crochets in this one and then two double crochets in the next stitch so we're going to repeat row eight of the lower wing until we have one stitch in the middle left only one stitch left in the middle so right now we have a total of um, 11 stitches we are going to continue eliminating the first and the last stitch the first and the last stitch every other row until we have a total of only one stitch left in the middle so turn your work slip stitch in the second stitch slip stitch in the third chain up three double crochet in the same stitch so the beginning and the and the end don't change at all we are still doing the same exact thing and then chain two but we are going to be skipping the very first stitch and going into the second with a double crochet and then go all the way to the second last stitch so repeat row eight until we have only one stitch in the middle So here we are it took me a total of 13 rows of the lower wing to get to that point when i had only one stitch in the middle so we are going to um row 14 of the lower wing so turn your work slip stitch in the second stitch slip stitch in the third chain up three double crochet in the same stitch Two double crochets in the next stitch chain one and then skip all these skip the chain to space the double crochet and the chain to space and finish up the row with two double crochets in each of the next two stitches on the opposite side so this is what we have and now um we are going to do our very last row so turn your work slip stitch in the second stitch slip stitch in the third stitch slip stitch in the fourth stitch chain up three double crochet in that very stitch chain one skip the chain one space and place two double crochets in the next stitch and that marks the end of the opposite of the lower wing so you're going to chain one and cut your yarn and this space here is where we're going to be um, putting one of these strings so uh, let me show you how it looks like this is how the lower wing has come out you can see that and then this is the upper wing the one that covers the breasts so um we're going to be doing the wing on the opposite side 
and we are going to do the same exact thing we're just going to mirror what we've done on this side onto this side so turn your work and we are going to be attaching our yarn at this point where we attached our yarn in the beginning so I just wanted to make that clear so attach your yarn here at the top of our row 5 at that point so chain 5 double crochet in the same spot chain 5 one, two, three, four, five. Double crochet in between the fifth and the fourth stitch. So at this point, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, like that. And then chain three, double crochet between the third and the fourth row. So at this point here. So one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. And once you have this done you're ready to go you're going to just rewind the video and do the same exact thing that we did on the other side I'll meet you guys when I have my uh, my second wing finished and I'll show you the final touches okay so now I've finished my uh, second wing and this is what you should have your work should be looking like this and then you can try it on and if it suits your size well and good but for me it was a bit too open especially for the smaller sizes uh, if it's too open you're going to get uh, short strands of yarn about three of them so I'm going to get mine I have these short strands and I'm going to be joining some rows together so I'm going to remove this out of my way and I go into this first space of row 2 of the wing and then into the space on the opposite side and I'm going to just make a very tight knot like that and I'm going to tie so make sure it's tight enough like that then go on to the next row i'm going to do this for a total of three rows on the upper side and i'm just making very tight knots so this helps us close up the top so that it's not so open so you can see the body of the butterfly is going to come and cover that part so you can cover up two rows but if you're really really small you can go up to three rows and also cover up this and after this I'll just have to um, cut my yarn so that I get rid of those strings hanging around and yeah this is it if you feel like the bottom also needs some more coverage you can close up only one row at the bottom and this is how to do the butterfly top um, these two strands on the head of the butterfly go behind your back behind your neck sorry and then the very long strands these ones you bring this one from this side and then you fix it in this gap here and then the one on this side you bring it and you put it through this gap here the base of the upper wing and then you cross it over to the base of the lower wing like that and do the same for the other side I'll be attaching a photo a clear photo of how to go about this and this is how the straps at the back are going to look like they make an X two times and yeah this is basically it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for those who want the written pattern don't forget it's on my Etsy shop 
and uh, you can check it out i'll be linking leaving a link in the description box so thanks guys for watching i'll see you in my next video bye